whole metal record, you open up the lyrics, they're talking either about space, or aliens, or cutting up their girlfriends, or something like that, in, some, in one form or combination, sort of pseudo-intelligent lyrics, that to me just sounded like a word vomit, that Fallujah was extremely guilty of, especially on you know, things like Harvest Wounds and Leper Colony. And for me, it just got boring and stale. I never seemed to get any inspiration from other metal bands or certain musicians yeah, maybe some, some inspire me in like yeah. almost a competitive sense. But yeah, it's totally. mostly when you you know you watch like certain movies that there's the whole ambiance of the music yeah. and what it adds to it and the kind of the core changes, you know, it's always about like how they're doing their changes and how they're doing their layers and it's a, that's what I look at when I Totally. Inspired by music. It's like more in depth. Yeah, instead of just, you know. It's like, not just like, you know, like, oh, let's just think of like a riff here. Or yeah, what or like, riff or something. Well, sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, it's more like, what's the you know, feeling? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, it's kind of deeper than just like, okay, like now this is the breakdown part. And every single song almost pertains to a certain film, and there's parallels between some of the themes in that film and how, and how they've related to something similar in my life. So we took, you know, a collection of. Not necessarily my specifically favorite movies, but movies that I all love and that we as a band can all understand. And I pick certain themes from each of those that, in some way or another, I experience the same thoughts at one certain point of my life. I definitely wanted to have the songs be more, uh, you know, better song Cohesive. writing. Cohesive. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the albums before, we would just kind of just write songs, you know, just like, oh, that sounds good, and just like, like make super part, solid songs. Part. But now I think there's a better perspective on like how the whole piece should sound, you know, each song should have its own like emotion to it and it should all, it should be, it's each yeah. have its own kind of character yeah. and also be like, I don't know, that. Yeah, <laughs> just concise and more uh, accessible. Yeah, you know, see, it, totally. you know, Being technical metal, I guess some would say that it's more, uh, it's easy to just kind of have riff salads and stuff like yeah. that. <laughs> and it mostly be about right, here's the next showing off or something like that, but it's, no, I definitely wanted to have almost yeah. really nice song structures that someone could really easily digest and at the same time it feels different. There's also visuals attached to the film. There's like visuals and themes and there's that whole artistic side of it that kind of play in. So you're almost being creative by using other per another person's creativity as inspiration and then kind of intermingling it with your own thoughts. So you know I think part of the fun is that unless you're kind of within our own little circle we're not going to tell you what films they are, what characters they are, you know whatever it is, but someone maybe can open up this lyric booklet and be like, wow, like this sounds a lot like this film, and you're talking about a specific theme that, once again, people like movies, people like films, because they see a bit of themselves in it sometimes, or for the, like, for the exact opposite reasons, where it's so far away from their own reality that they can't even relate to it. But within a lot of those, and there's both of those themes on this album, lyrically, there's still something humanizing about it no matter what, and I wanted to kind of touch on that. Where even if even if something is science fiction or something is sort of mystical or something is extreme or exciting, that there's still always a humanizing feature in it. And every single song kind of taps into the actual humanistic themes within a possibly inhuman situation or an inhuman quality.